appreciate about a conversation this morning with Philip Bloomberg is that he's very much part of a new Egypt. The sort of investment, the sort of imagination that Philip and his company brings to, uh, to Egypt as a, as a destination for investment is exactly what that country needs. It's exactly what that country invites. We've been going to Egypt for five or six years. You cannot want to do business in MENA, in the Middle East and North Africa, and not focus on Egypt. It is the center of MENA, both in population, in political importance, and in the, as we're seeing now, in the ability to create peace or not have peace in the region. And when you ask uh, why Egypt, where we see it going, I think it starts with the president. Um, it starts with his determination to eliminate corruption, his desire to see a more efficient bureaucracy. Food security, why is that important? It's important because half of the food gro grown in this world goes to waste. It's important because we look for a silver bullet that's gonna save us from a doubling of this population in the next 50 years, and where, how do we feed it? It's gonna help because we're actually seeing a decline in agricultural productivity throughout the emerging market. So if you can recoup 50% of the food already grown by farmers throughout the world, you can solve the famine problem. You can create a economic robustness in the agricultural segments of emerging markets. Um, in Egypt, a little more than 30% of the grain grown in Egypt is lost. It's lost in what are called shonas, which are really open air pits exposed to pigeons, mold, rot, and occasional rain. What Egypt has commissioned is a, re is a redoing of that entire network, 300 new shona, which will save Egypt approximately $600 million in Egyptian grown grain that doesn't go to waste. That $600 million of precious currency that doesn't go abroad to buy grain from, from Europe or even the United States. It's $600 million that stays in Egypt to be recycled. It's a more robust and better opportunity for the farming aspect, interests in Egypt and the farmers. As we complete this project for 300 Shona, um, I may very well be announcing that our MENA manufacturing plant will be located in Egypt. That's a plant that will produce food security equipment, the largest food security equipment plant in the world, produce food security equipment throughout MENA. And that's an investment my company will make in Egypt because and inspired by President Sisi and the new Egypt we see. If we can get um, bureaucratic impediments out of the way, we can, we can have this program completed, 300 new Shona, in the next six to seven months all completed and up and running. Um, we are using uh, Egyptian suppliers for the building shells. I have to comment, uh, this project could not happen without the help of the army. Logistics in Egypt are difficult, and if the army were not assisting us, we could not get this job done. You're obviously leading a revolution in food security. You've got technologies that are found nowhere else. You have the, you have the energy and capacity to now start, start installing facilities all over the place. Give us a sense of the bigger vision. Okay. We, we're talking about Egypt there, but, but this is needed everywhere. Yes, it is. And, and what we see as our goal is a global platform that, is, that means we will have a hub in, hopefully, in Egypt for MENA and in India for Asia and a variety of other countries, where we are a, where those countries are our home, not our host, where we're integrated into the community and we're doing projects beyond the scope of just food security. Um, but I think that only way to achieve that is to mean sincerely you're hiring local people, you're using local content, you're fueling um, business not only with large Egyptian firms, but with small Egyptian firms, um, that we become integrated into the economy.